Hi, welcome to Just Trading. In this video, our team gives you an analysis with the information we got after the closing date time of April 21st, 2020. Our objective is to give you suggestions to trade with less risk and higher capital return. Remember to stop the video at any time, if you want to look at it carefully. Here, we show you an example of the stock's timestamp that you can find on the video's comments. You can click on the timestamp and go to the stock's details. We show you the SP500 ETF and it belongs to the Bolo class. Our analysis shows you a weak opportunity to buy. We are expecting a buy return of 10.0%. This top opportunity has a maximum buy price of $278.26, but we expect a possible buy price of $273.46. On the call option table, SP500 ETF has a striking price at $270. We show you the Dow Jones Industrial ETF and it belongs to the Bolo class. Our analysis shows you a weak opportunity to buy. We are expecting a buy return of 11.1%. This top opportunity has a maximum buy price of $234.2, but we expect a possible buy price of $229.9. On the call option table, Dow Jones Industrial ETF has a striking price at $225. For this option, the actual call price is at $10.78, but we expect a possible call price at $10.76. We show you the NASDAQ 100 ETF and it belongs to the bull normal class. Our analysis shows you a weak opportunity to buy. We are expecting a buy return of 8.9%. This top opportunity has a maximum buy price of $211.29, but we expect a possible buy price of $206.53. On the call option table, NASDAQ 100 ETF has a striking price at $205. For this option, the actual call price is at $6.67, but we expect a possible call price at $7.62. Corporate Bond ETF belongs to the Bolo class. Today, our analysis does not list it as an opportunity to buy or sell. Let's look at the market sectors table. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to buy. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell. We show you the energy sector ETF and it belongs to the bull low class. Our analysis shows you a weak opportunity to buy. We are expecting a buy return of 10.0%. This top opportunity has a maximum buy price of $31.49. On the call option table, Energy Sector ETF has a striking price at $31. For this option, the actual call price is at $2.89, but we expect a possible call price at $2.45. Let's look at the stocks table of Energy Sector. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to buy. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell. ExxonMobil Corporation was a previous top sell alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it short. You can observe that ExxonMobil Corporation is a bull low class. In the past, it has given an average sell return of 1.8%. You may expect now a sell return of 5.4%. We suggest to buy it at a maximum price of $38.73. On the other hand, we suggest to stop selling if the price is $42.63. On the put option table, ExxonMobil Corporation has a striking price at $45. For this option, the actual put price is at $4.78 but we expect a possible put price at $2.66. Financial sector ETF belongs to the bull low class. Today, our analysis does not list it as an opportunity to buy or sell.
Let's look at the stocks table of financial sector. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to buy. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell. Real estate sector ETF belongs to the bull low class. Today, our analysis does not list it as an opportunity to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of real estate sector. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to buy. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell. We show you the healthcare sector ETF and it belongs to the bull normal class. Our analysis shows you a weak opportunity to buy. We are expecting a buy return of 5.6%. This top opportunity has a maximum buy price of $98.53. But we expect a possible buy price of $97.29. On the call option table, healthcare sector ETF has a striking price at $97. For this option, the actual call price is at $2.35 but we expect a possible call price at $2.58. Let's look at the stocks table of healthcare sector. There is a weak opportunity to buy Eli Lilly and company. You can observe, it has an expected buy return of 21.1%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $153.8. For call option, a possible call price is at $6.1. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell. Gilead Sciences is a weak buy suggestion. It is on a bull normal class. In the past, our analysis shows you that it has given an average buy return of 7.1%. You may expect now a buy return of 7.7%. We suggest to buy it at a maximum price of $81.33 but we expect a possible buy price of $79.05. In addition, we suggest to stop buying Gilead Sciences. If it is below 2.30% of your stock price trade. On the call option table, Gilead Sciences has a striking price at $79. For this option, the actual call price is at $4.83. But we expect a possible call price at $5.16. industrial sector ETF belongs to the Bolo class. Today, our analysis does not list it as an opportunity to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of industrial sector. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to buy. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell. Lockheed Martin is a weak buy suggestion. It is on a bull low class. In the past, our analysis shows you that it has given an average buy return of 2.8%. You may expect now a buy return of 23.1%. We suggest to buy it at a maximum price of $376.05. In addition, we suggest to stop buying Lockheed Martin. If it is below 2.80% of your stock price trade. On the call option table, Lockheed Martin has a striking price at $375. For this option, the actual call price is at $12.75. But we expect a possible call price at $14.34. We show you the material sector ETF and it belongs to the bull low class. Our analysis shows you a weak opportunity to buy. We are expecting a buying return of 8.9%. This top opportunity has a maximum buy price of $48.45. But we expect a possible buy price of $47.33. On the call option table, material sector ETF has a striking price at $47. For this option, the actual call price is at $2.11. 
but we expect a possible call price at $1.87. Let's look at the stock's table of material sector. There is a weak opportunity to buy air products chemicals. You can observe, it has an expected buy return of 10.5%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $215.96. For call option, a possible call price is at $13.24. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell. We show you the discretionary sector ETF and it belongs to the bull low class. Our analysis shows you a weak opportunity to buy. We are expecting a buy return of 9.2%. This top opportunity has a maximum buy price of $108.39, but we expect a possible buy price of $107.8. On the call option table, discretionary sector ETF has a striking price at $107. For this option, the actual call price is at $4, but we expect a possible call price at $3.9. Let on the other hand, there is a strong opportunity to sell Netflix Incorporated. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 5.6%. You may sell it at a minimum price of $414.76. For put option, a possible put price is at $32.96. McDonald's is a weak buy suggestion. It is on a bull normal class. In the past, our analysis shows you that it has given an average buy return of 1.9%. You may expect now a buy return of 5.3%. We suggest to buy it at a maximum price of $180.39, but we expect a possible buy price of $175.44. In addition, we suggest to stop buying McDonald's. If it is below 1.80% of your stock price trade. On the call option table. McDonald's has a striking price at $175. For this option, the actual call price is at $8.8, but we expect a possible call price at $7.75. ,75. We show you the Consumer Staples ETF and it belongs to the bull low class. Our analysis shows you a weak opportunity to buy. We are expecting a buy return of 5.9%. This top opportunity has a maximum buy price of $58.84, but we expect a possible buy price of $58.07. On the call option table, Consumer Staples ETF has a striking price at $58. For this option, the actual call price is at $1.29, but we expect a possible call price at $1.34. Let's look at the stock's table of staples sector. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to buy. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell. PepsiCo Incorporated is a weak buy suggestion. It is on a bull low class. In the past, our analysis shows you that it has given an average buy return of 0.3%. You may expect now a buy return of 7.7%. We suggest to buy it at a maximum price of $133.39, but we expect a possible buy price of $130.58. In addition, we suggest to stop buying PepsiCo Incorporated. If it is below 0.65% of your stock price trade. On the call option table, PepsiCo Incorporated has a striking price at $130. For this option, the actual call price is at $4.5, but we expect a possible call price at
Philip Morris is a weak by suggestion. It is on a bull normal class. In the past, our analysis shows you that it has given an average buy return of 2.8%. You may expect now a buy return of 42.4%. We suggest to buy it at a maximum price of $74.2. In addition, we suggest to stop buying Philip Morris if it is below 0.05% of your stock price trade. On the call option table, Philip Morris has a striking Technology sector ETF belongs to the bull low class. Today, our analysis does not list it as an opportunity to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of technology sector. There is a strong opportunity to buy Western Digital. You can observe, it has an expected buy return of 29.4%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $41.67. For call option, a possible call price is at $2.53. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell. Microsoft Corporation is a weak buy suggestion. It is on a bull normal class. In the past, our analysis shows you that it has given an average buy return of 2.3%. You may expect now a buy return of 22.6%. We suggest to buy it at a maximum price of $172.38. But we expect a possible buy price of $168.93. In addition, we suggest to stop buying Microsoft Corporation. If it is below 0.70% of your stock price trade. On the call option table, Microsoft Corporation has a striking price at $165. For this option, the actual call price is at $7.68, but we expect a possible call price at 8.4. Texas Instruments was a previous top sell alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it short. You can observe that Texas Instruments is a bull low class. In the past, it has given an average sell return of 2.2%. You may expect now a sell return of 2.3%. We suggest to buy it at a maximum price of $104.41. On the other hand, we suggest to stop selling if the price is $121.5. On the put option table, Texas Instruments has a striking price at $120. For this option, the actual put price is at $14.28 but we expect a possible put price at $5.48. Communication sector ETF belongs to the bull low class. Today, our analysis does not list it as an opportunity to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of communication sector. There is a weak opportunity to buy T-Mobile US. You can observe, it has an expected buy return of 29.9%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $87.9. For call option, a possible call price is at $3.21. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell. Utility sector ETF belongs to the bull low class. Today, our analysis does not list it as an opportunity to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of utility sector. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to buy. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell. This ends the analysis of our team that gives you a good start on your trading day. Please, remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Share it and leave it a like if you find it useful. Thanks for following us. We hope to see you on our next Just Trading video. Bye.